Bless and good evening to my family in Christ. Peace be unto you from God the Father Almighty, giving honor and glory to the Almighty God, who is the head of our lives. We want to thank him for spared life and tender mercy into this time of trials and tribulation and temptation and wars and rumors of wars, earthquake in diverse places. But we today we have to say, are we yet alive to see each other's face? Glory and praise to Jesus' name for his redeeming grace. To my family on Zoom, happy to meet and happy to greet. We are about to ask the Spirit of God to guide my heart and my mind <clears throat> because all this are possible only because of God's grace, not because I am good. But not because you are good, but only by the grace of God. For the Bible tells us that we all sin and come short of the glory of God. None of us is worthy. But each day, <clears throat> we're climbing the ladder to get there. Each day, we should be taking a step nearer to perfection. Because we know it's a long road. It's a tedious journey but we hope to get there one day. With me today, it is my husband, Bishop Ashby. We, we are about to discuss a word that we hear. For a, we've been hearing for a very long time and it goes like, in God, we put our trust. It's only money. We have to remember and understand what we are saying, Bishop Ashby, coming from Jeremiah, the seventh chapter, the seventh verse. <laughs> Good day to my family in Christ. Uh, here begin the reading taken from Jeremiah, the 17th chapter, the seventh verse. Blessed is the man that trusts in the Lord and whose hope is the Lord is. Glory to God. Who hope the, the Lord, Lord is. is. Remember those words. Who hopes? You know, brethren, in this walk that we're walking in life, pilgrim journey, it's tedious. And without trust in Almighty God, sad is our portion. Because some of us make conscious decision to trust in God planned for, for us to have what I consider a healthy life. Everyone did not make that decision to trust, to surrender, to give it up, to have a healthy life, not any life, but a healthy life. Because no matter how educated you are, no matter how much money you get, no matter how whatever worth you think you have on this earth, without a healthy life, all those things are not important. But in order to serve God, in order to be a child of the king, in order to walk according to his purpose for your life, you need a healthy relationship with God, a healthy life that you were able to grow into that man, that human that God has built you to be. Praise God. Uh, uh, as you said, um, it's according to what God has built you to be, and we have to understand what our purpose is in life. Uh, sometimes we oftentimes settle for the situation or the circumstances we are in. But if we look at the verse itself, it says blessed. Understand what it, we have to understand what it means to be blessed. Uh, in your condition right now, are you feeling blessed? Are you receiving what God has to offer to you, the, the purpose why he has created you? 
Jeremiah told us, even before we were in our mothers, we'll be as faultless and fashioned as. So if you are not fulfilling the purpose, if you're not feeling that, you know, you're walking in accordance to that purpose that God has created you for, you know, we have to, you know, kind of recollaborate, re as we say, you know, we have to stop and, and think and, and find out what our true purpose is as we move forward without uh, our walking as the blind leading the blind. When we, some of us, when some of us are, are, what I would say, rooted or grounded in the scripture, it transformed the way we react in trying situations. Take a look around us. When someone have nothing to say, they start swearing or acting unseemly. But if you are studying the scripture and someone says something to you and you are a praying soul, you will react differently to the person than someone that is not in the word. This is why the word of God talk about Blessed is the one that planted by the river that bringeth forth fruit. But when you're planted by the river, it's not any and any kind of fruit you're going to be bring because the river, when you're you know, when you're growing up and you pass all the 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 the, the um the grass and things that are running, you see that healthy and green. Oh, yeah. So you want it to be, you want to be able to plant it by that river that you're trusting, that river that runs, that you will be able to stay healthy, that the words that you are giving would be words of respect, words of understanding, words of courage that that would you wouldn't have to say that I trust in the Lord, but according to your word and you respond, they will know that you are one that trusts in the Lord. And not only what, because remember what it's saying, not what goes in a man defile him, you know, it what comes out of you, which meaning your action, your behavior, all these things that we are speaking about. It is okay to say that you trust in the Lord. Words are powerful, but actions speak louder than words. Our, our trust in Lord in, in, in God it, it is, you know, truly a reliance or a surrendering of ourselves, you know, and truly walking after the Spirit of God as it as the Spirit gives us a turn. Truly, if we say we are spiritual or we or we are walking according to God's Holy Spirit, you know, sometimes we say, you know, my conscience tells me to do this or something in my mind tells me to do something, you know, but oftentimes, you know, it's the spirit of God directing us in a manner in which we ought to go. And the only way God is going to direct us is if we don't, if we stay close to his bleeding side, having a connection with him. You know, we oftentimes say, you know, we must have God as our indwelling savior. It is he who directs us and that we have ourselves. Because uh, at the banks of a Jordan, when we surrendered unto, unto God, you know, we gave up control uh, uh, that, uh, according to our flesh. And now we are no longer in control, but we are walking now according to God's Holy Spirit and according to the, to, the, to the purpose in which he has created us for. We may not be able to, able, or we may not walk the same road or, or, or the same path, but we walking side by side to, to, to fulfill the purpose in which God has created us for. So trusting in God, we must, you know, be able you know, to, 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 to rely not only on how, what we feel, but according to what God's purpose is. The purpose for your life and my life, we have to understand where you want to go. Are you going to be, are you going to be one that let go and let God or 
you want to do it yourself. You know, it, you know the, 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 the song that said, I do it my way. You do it your way. You cannot expect to reap God harvest because you're doing it your way. Yeah. You're not depending on trusting in the Lord, you know. Who's commissioned? who has created you and fashioned you in his own image and likeness, who has been brought into you. You are doing you because you're trusted only in self. Where the word of God said, I in God, we put our trust. Those are serious statements to make. Because you become an example now when you start to use these words in God, we put our trust. It's like, you know, it's David what said, he said, I and my house will serve the Lord. Abraham, I and my house will serve Abraham. Serve God, sorry. Abraham used those words. Sorry. I want you to remember in thinking or not using words or using making statements just because you hear it or just because you're in a position and you feel that if you say it, it will just sound right. Be careful because what is not what goes in the man, you know, it's what comes out. Because when, you know, you have to be an example of what you preach. You have to be an example of this life that you live. When we claim in, in God, we put our trust, we have to recognize the God we're talking about. Jeremiah lived in a time when most of society trusted in man alliance and worship of idols was privilege, prevalent. Now, society does one thing, but what does God says? We have to be careful in how those of us that claiming to know God and trust in the Lord, how we walk into in this, what you call it, um, and in society. Everything has to be separated. We have to have balance. We have to be able to live among our brothers and sisters without judgment. Sometimes we think we know, but we don't know. So we have to trust in the Lord and lead by example. The Bible said the wages of sin is death and the gift of God is eternal light. Careful are we using the word God. We cannot, we cannot say one thing and do another. It tells us as blessed is the one whose confidence is in him. They will be like a tree planted by the water that does not fear when the heat come. I was listening to a song with that. When you're planted by the river and you have confidence in the God you're saying, your trust, you will not fear because you know the DNA that is running through your veins. So when the heat and the pressure of a man can come, the Lord will have already spoken to you. Yeah. So your leaves will not get withered. But you will be able to say with a bold assurance in God, I put my trust. The Lord said he would not see his seed forsaken. No. Begging bread. 
the, the, I didn't say it, you know, that's what the word of God says. He said, I will not see. So he's telling you that if you serve God, not what, not what we call him serving God. If you serve, remember he said he's the reader of your heart and the search of your mind. The level that God is holding us on to. The level that he's holding us up at. Remember, you know, he said he, he made us and created us a little lower than the angels and crowned us with honor and glory. Yeah. So remember, you know, the, 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 where, where God is, where he's holding us. Careful with doing, we say one thing and we doing another. You want it for your house, but you don't want it for your neighbor house. It has to be equal. When he was leaving, he said, love ye one another as I love you. He leave a, a legacy. Which one of us want to pick up the road and run? Anytime one pick up the road to, to run, we start to find fault in everything they do. It starts to have a jealousy and an envy and a this and a that. And we forget that the word of God says, those without sin cast the first stone. Yeah. We forget that, you know. And we, we forget that Jesus is a forgiving savior. And we forget that he come and he died that you and I should have life and have it more abundantly. We forget if he came for those who have sinned and come short of the glory of God. If you're good, stay good. The word and dear brethren is to change our ways and our actions. The word and dear to scold us. The word and dear to prepare us for the coming kingdom that we be able to stay in God. I put my trust. Yeah, the word says, faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Is evidence we're talking about in God I put my trust. Let me see your evidence. Yes. In God I put my trust. Let me see your evidence today. Brethren, man will say, I don't have nothing to prove to you. Use not God. I agree with you. Man I have nothing to prove to man. You have to be very careful. The Bible says the voice of man is the voice of God. Be careful. I read those words. Be careful in what we say. Silent listener to every conversation and unseen eye that seen all things. Careful in the words, in the statement, in your statement that you're making. Careful in the things that you are putting out. Silent listener to every conversation. And the Lord is going to hold us accountable for the things we do and say. Yes, accountability is something that we have to be really careful of. And uh, when we say we are a child of God and rooted and grounded, you know, um, we, as you know, that first psalm tells us, you know, we do not want to be found standing in the way of sinners. If we say we are children of God or a child of God, you know, people are looking at, at us and there's a, of, a certain amount of expectation that um, is, is expected of us. Um, I heard someone just said the, the other day, you know, that um, a name carries a lot of weight. And if uh, that name in which we are calling ourselves children of God or child of God is not really portraying within us, you know, we, we come now as hindrance unto those who are thinking about coming to God. You know, it, you know, it, as it was just read, you know, it, it said, you know, that, you know, uh, that we shall be, you know, it, be spreading, the roots shall be spreading, the roots shall be spreading by the rivers of water, and it shall not, you know, it shall not see when the heat come in, nor 
not, not ever get green, meaning to say, well, you know, we don't have to worry about anything. Once we are children of God, God is going to supply our every need. You know, even when we're going through this pandemic season, you know, the Bible tells us in our toiling rejoice, you know, we ought not to, 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 to kind of wonder what is going on or what is going to happen. God, our, 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 our cares and our wants and our desires is in the hands of God. And if we're trusting in God and truly, as it says here, you know, our trust is in him, you know, we, you know, there's not anything that we ought to want or, or, or care for at this point in time. But all we have to do, you know, is just walk with God and he will be able, you know, to deliver us according to his, his, his purpose and, and, and calling. As believers, brethren, as believers in, in the word of God, as believers in Jesus, the son of the living God, we are called to live by faith as we look to him for solutions. As believers, huh? but we all are not believers. We, some of us are church goers. We go because the lime is in church. Every one of us have a reason for going to worship in the house of God. But be careful because we look into God to take care of the problems that goes on in our everyday life. But remember, the Lord is not going to fight the battle, you know. The Lord gave us the key. Everything is through prayer and fasting. Prayer and fasting. You know, it have a little song. They said, go down in the valley and talk to Jesus. Go down in the valley and talk to Jesus. Go down in the valley and talk to Jesus. Jesus. Go down in the valley and talk to Jesus. Go down in the valley and talk to Jesus. Go down in the valley and talk to Jesus. Jesus and separate. This is what we have to understand. Prayer. Changes things. And when you pray, the Lord always give a solution to the problem. All you have to do is to wait and trust in the same God that we are talking about. Brethren, trust is a very serious thing in all relationship, you know. Anytime you're lost with trust in someone, everything done. That the time you don't care, you don't feel, you don't want, you don't this, you don't trust. You're sleeping with one eye open, one eye closed. If it's a friend, you're watching cookie, yeah, you're bending your glasses all out. The language, the conversation change because the trust gone. Think about when we mess up and we know that we fail. And you're conscious that you know you fail. Not when you get caught and you're sorry you get caught. You know, I'm talking about that. I'm talking about when you reach to the stage that you know that you're conscious of the wrong. It's only when we do and we recognize it, then and only then the healing process starts to take. So brethren, trusting in God is to put your faith and confidence in his decision in your life. His decision in your life. What type of life you want. You want to be like the tree that planted by the river. That when the sun starts to burn. When the sun shine hit 99 degrees, 100 and change, you have nothing to worry about because you're planted by the river. 
You are being transformed. What going through the DNA within you is not the same DNA in everybody because you're planted and rooted and grounded in God your trust. This is not no time to worry about anybody and what anybody think. The church is falling. Not because it have 99 people in the church feel all of that is it. Today, brethren, churches, bills need to pay. Rent gone sky high. Light bill gone up, water bill gone up, candle gone up, everything gone up. Let us not waste our money and time. The psalm talk about putting our money to usury. Be careful in the God you're serving. Look at what happening in, 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 um, in Ukraine. I keep saying we have that right here among ourselves. Look at what's taking place with the potent, potent. We have potent right among ourselves. Wanting to control, want to tell what to do, when to do, and how we, the history, I don't know it. But I am saying, brethren, we have it right here. Some of us, when we think about Putin, look in the mirror. Learn to trust in God. Let go and let God in the true sense of the word. Not just speaking because you could read and write and you feel you have an education. That is not going to take you there. Education is great. I push the children in the Ark of the Covenant every day to go to school, to learn, to study. Not to show off, but to able to live a life. To understand the word of God. To able to dissect the word. To able to be grounded in the word. That is my that is my desire. That every child that walks through the ark of the covenant must able to have an understanding of the word of God. The spirit God will deal with that. So, my beloved brethren, think about when you're speaking about we will trust in the Lord. Understand what you're asking for. Understand the statement you're making because it's looking for, I'm looking for answers. As God provides strength, we can choose to fear or to trust him. God provide your strength. You know, we wake up this morning, you, wasn't, you, you know, I wasn't expected to come. We don't know man dying in the sleep daily. Don't know who the number is behind his point, the arrow is pointing on. No one can beat the chest no more. We don't know what is going on, but we have to keep saying the word. I put my trust in God. In God, we trust. In God, we put, we trust. Anyhow, you want to say it, but make sure you mean what you say. Because, brethren, could you imagine that you are constantly preaching the word and talking and speaking? Give it to someone. I trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. And when your time comes for you to trust, when you put your key in the door, the door would know. The Lord saying, depart from me. I know you're not. You know, the Lord says, we are blessed bountifully. Okay. When we choose to place our trust in almighty God, who is the reader of your heart and the searcher of your mind, trust God. You know, I, I, I have a little thing they say, trust, but, but trust and shame devil or something to that, to that folk. Today I want to say, brethren, even the doctors, speak the truth and shame the devil. Because the devil wants us to con constantly lie to each other. Constantly faking to each other, constantly pretending, not speaking your mind. One of the things I always say to my people, 
speak the truth to me, even though it hurt me. Let me deal with the pain, but just don't disrespect me. Something wrong, tell me straight up. As long as I check myself and I know I'm wrong, I will apologize I to kneel down. Because it's a, it's a privilege for somebody to tell you that you're going wrong or you have done something wrong. Some people know you're doing something wrong and they're laughing and grinning with you and watching you going to hell and pushing you down. And we call it friend. Be careful with the word of God, brethren. Remember, if you put your trust in the Lord, he promised to bless us bountifully. He said, when we worry or afraid, and we must remember that God promise is to bless those who trust in him. Don't worry. Remember the commitment the Lord made to us. When you realize that we trust in God, call on the Lord. He promised that he will hear and answer prayer. It doesn't matter the circumstances. It doesn't matter what takes place, when, how, and why. Remember, you know, the Lord has promised to forgive us, but we still have to pay the price. Remember David? He says a man after my own heart, but he still had to pay the price. Yeah. Brethren, remember the word of God. As we live in this time, let us pray for each other. Let us learn to trust God. Let us learn to beg God for mercy because we all sin and come short of the glory of God. None of us is perfect, but I am claiming I am fighting the fight to get there. Trust in God. Um, as you just mentioned, uh, let us not, our, our trusting in God has to be something that is continuous. Because I know some of us, uh, we oftentimes trust in God uh, when uh, circumstances come. Uh, and what came to mind to me um, as a reference is almost like how we treat weight loss. We realize, you know, that something is wrong or we are a, a little overweight or a little off balance. So we go on a diet, uh, trying to address the immediate circumstances, but not reaching uh, the end goal by changing, by completely changing our entire diet or eating habit. But we get a quick fix. We go to the gym, we exercise for a little while, or we sign up for a month class or something like that. And when we reach the weight that we want to reach, we quit. And then we go back to our own habits and want to know why it happened again. But if we would only, you know, treat God or our, our life the way uh, we ought to treat our, our carnal body, you know, we'd be able, you know, to be a, a better people and, and, and walking accord, in accordance to the will of God. As it says, you know, those that trust in the Lord, you know, you know, uh, 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 shall, shall, you know, exceed among those who do not put their trust. Amen. Because we know too well that, you know, there's a way that seemeth right unto man because everyone feels as though that, you know, they're going to heaven and, they, and they, they're doing the right thing. But unless we, we truly put our trust, and the Bible says what? In the Lord. You know, and it didn't say, you know, just trust, but, you know, it says put and, and put your hope and, and, and who's your hope the Lord is. Amen. We can trust, but ho uh, in, hope, in whom our hope the Lord is. Because many of us, we trust. But the scripture also says some trust in chariots and some in horses. Amen. It's okay to trust, but in whom do you put your trust? Mm -hmm. And if we trust in, in the Lord, he said what? He's our burden bearer and he's going to carry it. Amen. We ought to leave everything once we come to God in prayer. And, and, and the Bible says with a broken heart and a contrite heart, he will not despise. So I oftentimes say once we come and meet the, the circumstances or, or the criteria in which God requires of us, we can, also, uh, we, we can almost, I, I use the word demand or expect with the hope in which the Bible speaks of. It tells us when we pray, we pray with the expectation of receiving it. Amen. 
trusting, knowing that God will deliver. So my beloved brethren in Christ, keep the faith, continue to trust in the Lord, continue to pray without ceasing. Remember God is a forgiving savior. And the Bible said that the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. You look in the mirror. Those are my words to myself and to my brethren. Close the door and look in the mirror. See if you like what is looking back at you. And if there is changes to be made. Remember, nobody cannot make these changes for you, no matter what they tell you. No money, no nothing can make that. It is between you and Almighty God. It is between you and Almighty God. Man, know yourself. We don't want someone, just someone to come to tell you your business. You already know what your business, you already know your failures. I already know my failures. We all have to try to trust in the almighty God with all our heart, our mind, our body, our soul, and our spirit. We have to surrender it all. As the bishop said, do not lean onto our own understanding. But trust in Almighty God, who is the reader of your heart and the search of your mind. Sometimes I think about when God was creating man. Listen to me now. The Lord know what he was doing, you know. This is why he put the heart inside it that he alone could read it. Because brethren, sometimes we don't know who is just lying down by us. We don't know who is sitting by us. We don't know. We, you, you know, if you're traveling in bus, you don't know who's sitting next to you. So let us trust in almighty God, understand the meaning of it, write a bucket list. And to you and your God, confess before God and make the changes. Nobody don't have to know your business. People only know your business when you start relating it to them. We have a way we want to vex with people. No, no vex when they talk what you say. Trust in the Lord. When you sit and you talk to God, God ain't going and tell nobody what you say. Trust him. He is a deliverer. Hear me, you know? He is a deliverer. Those that diligently seek. So my loved ones out there, I love you dearly. Thank you for your commitment. Thank you for the encouragement. I pray that the Lord will continue to bless your waiting soul and do your body ever good. As we are about now to offer a word of prayer so that the Lord will hear and answer and grant us a deliverance because he's a merciful savior. And one of these words that he said, what you bound on earth, he go bound in heaven. So today, brethren, let us deliver so the Lord will be able to lift us up. Let us touch and agree this evening, eternal God. Oh. Father, thou art the reader of heart and searcher of mind. And at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. Father, we come at this very time to thank you, Lord, for all that you have done. We come to praise and glorify your name, for your name is worthy to be praised and your name is worthy to be held in counsel. Visit us, our going out and our coming in. Remember, oh Lord, the body, Lord, pain rocking our mortal body, mortal man fainting by the way. Father, Lord, the journey is so steep. Help us, Lord, to walk with filly and fear and loving gratitude, knowing that you are the reader of our heart and the searcher of our mind. Prepare our heart to meet your kingdom. Where there is weakness, I'm begging for strength. Bless us, Lord, as thou seem best. Remember those on Zoom, Lord, listening to the song of my voice. I pray, oh God, you grant them a healing of the body, the soul, and the mind.
Remember the homes, Lord. Remember the place of labor, oh God. Remember the children, Jesus. Remember the companion of the life. Father, Lord, take us all now in charge, oh God. Father, where there is weakness, I begin for strength. Walk into the home, oh God, and make peace, perfect peace, oh God. Remember the children, oh God, spin them seven times seven, Lord. Let Satan have no dominion over them, oh God. But you be the guardian and the guide and hear them when they call. Father, remember the members of the Ark of the Covenant. Remember all those that I lay my hands upon. Those, Lord, that is on the side, Jesus. Wherever they be, oh God. Father, whether good or bad this evening, oh God. Whether wrong or right, blessed Father. Touch them, blessed Lord. Oh, guide them, blessed Jesus. Father, heal their broken body, oh God. Father, Lord, bless the going out and coming in. Provide for them, Lord, as thou seem best. Father, as I come, oh God, in the name of God the Father, and as I come in God the name of the Son, and as I come in the name of God the Holy Spirit, Father, Lord, God, God, bless our waiting soul. Grant us a renewed mind this evening, oh God. Grant us a renewed spirit, Jesus. Grant us the spirit of faith, blessed Lord. Father, those that are weak this evening. Father, those that are sick, oh God. Those that are cancer bound, Jesus. Father, oh God, Lord, bless the waiting soul, oh God. Father, heal the in and the out of the body, oh God. Grant them a healing at this time, man, oh Lord. Remember Amanda Jones, Jesus. Father, oh God, remember Amanda Hunter at this time. Lord, Lord God, you are acquainted with the woman, Jesus. Oh God, touch her, Lord, as you touch, touch the woman with the issue of blood, Jesus. Grant her a healing of the mind and the body and the soul and the spirit. Remember the family circle, Jesus. Oh God, touch the heart and mind, oh God. Give them the courage, oh God, to run this race with patience, Lord. Knowing that you are the reader of heart and searcher of mind. Father, come in your name, Jesus. Remember the offspring of my body, oh God. Father, oh God, remember the offspring of my body, Jesus. Jesus. Father, oh God, remember the offspring of my body. Father, provide for her, Lord, as thou see best. Father, you know my heart, desire, and my soul determination. Oh God, speak to her, Lord, by the stillness of the night. Father, oh God, be a guardian and a guide. Oh Lord, and hear she when I call. Let not the slippery foot slip slide. But oh God, hold she lest she fall. Father, Lord, I know she name, Lord, is written there, Jesus. Father, oh Lord, that your name is written, oh God. I beg you, oh God, smooth the bed and give her rest. Better give her show, oh God, for the journey, oh God, and saddle it back for the burden, oh God. Father, oh God, the head that wear the crown, Jesus. Oh God, bless me now if thou be so pleased. Father, you know what I want to tell thee, Jesus. Remember my spiritual increase, oh God. My Father, Lord, remember them in mercy. All those my duty bound, pray for, Lord. Touch them, oh God. Father, Lord, touch them, Jesus. Remember the companion of my life. Father, Lord, you know all things concerning him. Father, for the crown and head to the sole of the feet, I beg you to heal the body, oh God. I beg you, oh God, to touch the man, blessed Father. Grant him a healing this evening. Remember, oh God, the man that went to the pool and dipped Jesus. Father, oh God, take him to the pool if thou be so please. Father, thou art the reader of heart and searcher of mind. You know the man better than I do, oh God. But I beg you to have your way. I thank you, oh God, for my spiritual grandchildren, Jesus. Oh God, Sister Bellamy and mercy, oh God. Remember, oh God, your spring as she body, Jesus. Remember the grandson. Mercy, oh God. Jesus. Father, circle them with your circle blessing, oh God. Lord. Father, Lord, leave, oh, leave them not alone, Lord, Lord, but oh God, Jesus. support and comfort us, Lord. Lord. Father, we thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Remember those, Lord, that in the water, Jesus, those are the water flowing, oh God. Father, those that are are fighting to get along. Pass by the hospital, Jesus. Oh God, pass by the nursing home, oh God. Father, smooth bed and give them rest, oh God. Grant a healing of the mind, the body, the soul, and the spirit. Father, Jesus, those by the byways and heads of Jesus. Oh God, help them to beg and receive. This evening, Jesus, have mercy upon us, oh God. Father, remember, correct, oh God, Jesus. Ukraine, Jesus. Ukraine, oh God. Remember Russia the same. Father, Lord, blow your breeze upon Russia, oh God. Father, blow your breeze upon Russia, Jesus. At the name of Jesus, blow your breeze, oh God. Father, at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. Oh God, blow your breeze upon them, oh God. Father, blow your breeze this evening, God. Father, I know that there is nothing that you cannot do, oh God. Father, I know, Lord, that you can do all things, blessed God. For you 
you are the God of yesterday, today, and forever. Father, I depend upon your God. I depend on God, Lord God, to cool the heat, Jesus. Father, and restore peace, blessed Father. Father, and restore peace, oh God. Father Jesus, I beg you, Lord, in your name, oh God. Remember my place and later provide for me, Lord, as yes. Father, provide me going out and me coming in. Father Jesus, bless us now with your peace. Father, the will at large, oh Jesus. Father, the will at large, Jesus, the will at large. Remember, oh God, Lord, this yeah. disease again, oh God, the virus, Father. Yeah. Oh God, blow your breeze, blessed Father, and bring us all now to consciousness, oh God. This I ask in no other name, but in Jesus' almighty name. In Jesus' almighty name. Father, I'm begging for a healing of my body. I'm begging for a healing of the hip. Yes, Father, oh God, the hip, Jesus, the hip, yes, Lord. Lord. Father, I'm begging for the healing of the hip, Lord. Yes. Send medicine to suit me, complain. Yes, Jesus, fix it to suit you, yes, Lord. Lord. Fix it to suit you, Jesus. Father, my desire is to serve you, God. Father, my desire to serve you, Jesus. Point me to the right direction, oh God. Father, keep me shoe, my foot on my shoe, oh God. Help me to walk and be not weary, Jesus. Father, Lord, things are going on, oh God. Whatever is wrong, I beg you to make it right. I beg you to fix me to suit you, Lord, that I may be able to be a child of yours. Father, mold me and fashion me, oh God. Father, mold me and fashion me. Fashion, Make me over if it's your will, Jesus. Yes. Father, thy will must be done. Must be done. Father, I surrender it all. I surrender, I surrender it all to you, Jesus. Yes. In thy Lord. name, O oh God. In thy name, Jesus. Lord. In your name and your name only, we thank you this evening. You, in other name, but in Jesus Almighty, name. our Father who art in heaven. Holy be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from all evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Forever and ever. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise to Almighty God. Father in Christ. I pray that these words will strengthen you. I pray that you will find something in there for you, Lord. And if it's not to you, pass it on to a friend. Give our friend, a, you know, pass the link that someone may be able to listen, yes, that you yes. may be able to change your ways. And finally, as I'm about to leave, please do not forget the Ark for Breakfast that is coming out on the 7th of March of June. I pray that you will put it down in your diary. And you will come and pay us a visit. Those that cannot come and pay a visit, it's $40 a ticket. You can buy a ticket and send it for someone to go to the study prayer breakfast. Today, lend me your wings. I want to fly to glory. This fundraiser families for the building of the Ark of the Covenant and taking care of the needs and wants. I pray of God that you all will will support the ark of the covenant this i ask in no other name but in jesus almighty name remember it's mother's day weekend it is the saturday mother's day weekend in new york i will give you the i would put um the address on the website so you have a blessed day my family in no other name but in jesus almighty me. I surrender, I surrender, Lord. I surrender, I surrender all oh, to Jesus. Said Savior, I surrender all oh, to Jesus. I surrender.